Sup everybody, it's your boy Corey, aka GQ Saint, back from the reaction video finally. Y'all been waiting for this? Well, some of some, most of y'all. Death Battle, Black Adam versus Apocalypse, Marvel versus, well, DC versus Marvel. So, either way, I decided not to pick a size. Just go ahead and just enjoy this fight. I remember one person commented in my last video, such as two Egyptian tyrants fighting each other to the death. Either way, both of them show a very powerful ability. So, there's no telling how this is going to end. So let's get on into it. You already know special questions. Have a comment below. Let me know what you have to. Let's get it, y'all. I'm excited. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! It was a little loud in my ear. Okay, not surprised. It's taking place in Egypt. I like this beat. Okay. Where's your general interloper? Superhumans interloper mutant sanctuary. There's the real one. Yeah, only one Shazam lightning blast be enough to take him down. Does he use telepathy? <laughs> yeah, I just want to point this out. This is the main reason I wasn't too big of a fan of S Man Apocalypse movie. They made him look so much weaker compared to cartoon in the movies. They made him weaker a lot. So much weaker. Get the hell out of my country. Yeah, because he only did that during Battle of Charles Xavier's mind. Not in a real life. That's another that's one thing I was mad about. I refuse to relinquish my home to you, heretics. Push us off! <laughs> oh, mm. yeah, it's over. I never offered you a choice. Now, everything you've built will fall. Oh. <laughs> The end, like they doing like a comic book. I like that. All right, good effort. Huh? Good, congrats, Apocalypse. Good effort, Black Adam. Yeah, I'm looking for a good explanation how Apocalypse won. That's gotta be like what, thirty whole dollars? Man, this result surprised us. For what it's worth, both Black Adam and Apocalypse displayed ludicrous levels of godlike ability. Both of their power supplies compared to cosmic beings like the Phoenix and Super Gandalf, and both fought heroes like Thor and Wonder Woman. Right, the victor could not be deduced by strength and speed alone. Rather, it depended yeah. on how their abilities countered. This is what I'm talking about, like, this once again, I said it before, I said it again. This is how I'm talking about how the S Man movie Apocalypse, every like version, they made him much weaker than he's actually 
much weaker. Mm -mm. He was powerful, but nowhere near as powerful as he's supposed to be. Now, I do agree with, agree with the fact with Jean Grey defeating him at the end, but still, they made him weaker in that movie each other. In that regard, Apocalypse held many advantages. For starters, he could one-up the living lightning. For almost any power Black Adam had, Apocalypse had a better version of it, and then some. Frankly, half of Black Adam's pantheon granted him abilities that Apocalypse possessed through his mutant genes alone, notwithstanding hmm. all his other abilities from Celestial Tech, the Techno-Organic Virus, and the Death Sea. Well, Black Adam did have something Apocalypse didn't. The wisdom of Sahuti, Big Brain God, could definitely clue him in on that Death Seed stuff. And without a Death Seed, Apocalypse would not have fared nearly as well against Black Adam's strength and tenacity. So to win, Black Adam would have needed to figure out how to destroy the Death Seed, but Apocalypse could defend against that and had way more options for his own victory. His telepathy got the best of Jean Grey, and there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't mind read Black Adam. The courage of Mahen may have <laughs> safeguarded him from mental attack, but it never made him immune to telepathy outright. But most importantly, Apocalypse He's can absorb resistant. all of Black Adam's energy powers and turn him right back around. The living lightning may be enchanted, but it is still lightning. It's frequently displayed properties of ionized energy. Thus, there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't absorb it for himself. Plus, it's been shared hmm. between people many times before, and the more it's given to other hosts, the weaker the original bearer becomes. Hell, stealing I the power that. of the Living Lightning is how Teth Adam became Black Adam in the first place. So, okay, let's look at this right quick. Let's just show more leaving, show more strength in Apocalypse wisdom. So, who he alerted Black Adam to the Death Sea, far less versatile range combatants, possess very few means of killing Apocalypse quickly, unable to win. If Ted Adams couldn't shout Suzanne. Hmm. And Apocalypse, Death Sea, and actually rival Black Adam's physical, physical tality, physically, whatever. Numerous abilities could counter the living lightning, regenerative powers. Yeah, he has a high healing factor. Made him difficult to kill quickly, far weaker than Black Adam without his Death Sea. Wisdom, so who do unveil his weakness? Apocalypse could do the Glad same. By slurping up Black battles. Adam's magic, Apocalypse grew in power while Black Adam got weaker. It was only a matter of time before Black Adam was literally helpless against the end of all things. Black Adam may have been power incarnate, <laughs> they but put a tape on the screen. array of powers and specific counters to the Living Lightning meant he could rise to the challenge. Chef thought he had him until Noor gave him the boot. The winner is Apocalypse. All right, who's next? What the? Trunks versus Silver? Okay, I enjoyed that fight. The good soundtrack was good. Good the music. Yeah, it fit the environment. So this will come and fight. Trunks versus Silver. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball series versus the Sonic Hedgehog series. So, hmm. They, I definitely need an explanation about this. I don't want to be biased saying I'm going with Trunks because I like him more. Also, Silver. Yeah, Silver was just okay to me. His first appearance was the uh, god awful that Sonic the Hedgehog game that came out. I forgot what year. They came out in 2005 or 6. Anyway, that game was a disaster. First of all, the controls plus also the, the dialogue that out of, was out of sync. And also, um, oh yeah, those unnecessary loading screens. I still play the game, beat it for all three characters. The cool got the file in, and after that, I never touched that game again. I don't think my brother even finished it because he got it for first. He got it. And I played. We both played it, but he said to watch that plus given with the controls and everything. Nah. Either way. I don't know how this other battle is going to go. I'm just curious about it. Let me know what you guys think. How y'all feel about the outcome of this fight? Are you happy? Mad? Let me know. Just drop a comment and voice your opinion, especially how this upcoming fight is going to be. Anyway, make sure you give a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll do the early analysis as usual. Stay tuned. Have a fantastic day. Peace.